Good morning, students. You are all busy preparing for your exams. Uh, today, we shall uh, self-evaluate on the costing paper two and paper three subjects. So, a small MCQ uh, quiz for your self-evaluation has been prepared based on uh, the. suggestions or instructions or a kind of uh, different variety of uh, questions uh, which you can expect for your um, final examination your mcq examination i am sure that all of you have studied well and have prepared well so this would be considered as your uh, final self evaluation a kind of a test and assessment and evaluation after preparation it may also be considered as a revision for you so let us start uh, with the costing paper 2 and costing paper 3 you will come across random questions from the question banks from all the subjects uh, this self assessment test has been prepared uh, considering a few questions from each of the chapter from your paper 2 and paper 3 so there is no specific order as you will get in your exams from each topic from each subject and a variety of different type of questions in the previous video i had given you an idea about how the questions can be framed or what could be the content of the questions and i had given you an idea of what different types of questions can appear and what different way of constructing these questions what different variety of such questions so all those are covered in today's uh, this little video so let's start with the revision and self evaluation and self assessment the first question loss arising due to some unexpected accident can be termed as your first option is normal loss second option is gross loss third option is net loss and the fourth option is abnormal loss So you have got right. It is abnormal loss. Here is your next question. Costs remaining constant, even though the volume of business changes, are known as. And your first option is variable cost. Second option, fixed cost. Third option, semi-variable cost. And the fourth option, controllable cost. Guess what would be your answer? you are right it is fixed costs dividing the costs among the cost centers or cost units on some suitable basis can be known as your first option cost control second option cost reduction third option cost allocation and the fourth option cost apportionment and the right answer is cost apportionment here's your next question the process of charging cost to the cost center can be termed as your first option cost ascertainment second option over absorption third option cost allocation and fourth option under absorption here's your right answer cost allocation Your next question rent can be classified as a cost as a dash cost and your first option is variable cost second option fixed cost third option semi variable cost and the fourth option controllable cost here's your right answer rent will be considered or classified as a fixed cost your next question overheads 
comprises of all first option direct expenses second option direct incomes third option indirect incomes and fourth option indirect expenses here's your right answer overheads comprises of all indirect expenses over and above the direct expenses your next question both costing sorry batch costing is an extension of dash costing your first option process costing second option contract costing third option job costing and fourth option service costing here's your answer batch costing is an extension of job costing let's go to the next question amount spent on purchase of a fully finished good or converting the raw material into finished good can be termed as first option cost price second option market price third option selling price and fourth option mark price and your right answer it should be considered as cost price any amount which is spent either to purchase a fully finished product or to convert it into a fully finished product all would be included in cost price here's your next question find contribution if the selling price given is rupees 20 per unit and variable cost is rupees 15 per unit your options rupees 35 rupees 5 rupees 15 and rupees 20 and your right answer is rupees 5 contribution is the difference between selling price and variable cost therefore 20 minus 15 is 5 here's your next question the process of ascertaining the cost of a product is termed as dash your first option management next inventory control next option cost planning and the last option costing and your right answer is costing the process of ascertaining the cost of any product or a service can be termed as costing how would a school maintaining cost accounting consider each of its students for the accounting purpose your first option as a cost unit or as a cost center cost classroom or cost sheet and your right answer is cost unit your next question on the screen when production is continuous with little changes in the production procedure one after the other it may require dash costing your options are process costing contract costing operation costing and service costing and your right answer is process costing your next question loss arising due to spilling of oil at the time of filling small bottles every time by the shopkeeper from the barrel can be classified as first option abnormal loss second option normal loss third option abnormal profit and fourth option normal profit it happens every time and therefore your answer has to be normal loss costing related to construction work can be associated with the options are process costing contract costing operation costing service costing and your right answer should be contract costing direct material cost plus direct labor cost plus direct expenses all three put together can be termed as and the options are cost of production cost sheet cost of sales or prime cost and your answer has to be prime cost your next question indirect material cost plus indirect labor cost plus all indirect expenses can be termed as cost of production cost sheet overheads or prime cost and your answer has to be overheads next question 
PMT buses will adopt the following costing for the purpose of cost accounting. The options are operation costing, process costing, service costing or batch costing. It has to adopt service costing. Your next question, cost which can be altered and modified by the management can be termed as your options are abnormal costs, sunk costs, opportunity costs or controllable costs. And your right answer is controllable cost. Your next question, an example of semi-variable expenses best suitable among the following can be your first option, factory cost, salary to salesmen, life insurance premium or electricity charges. And your answer has to be electricity charges because you have a portion of fixed cost that is the fixed electricity fee which has to be charged for the meter charges and the variable cost pertaining to the number of units you use every month which will be the variable cost and therefore it can be considered as semi-variable. The next question. In activity based costing, ascertaining the dash is necessary. And the options are prime cost, selling cost, cost driver and total cost. Your right answer has to be cost driver. Your next question. Selling price minus variable cost can be termed as profit, contribution, fixed cost or profit volume ratio. And your answer has to be contribution. Your next question, all direct costs plus all variable overheads put together can be termed as contract costing, marginal costing, process costing or service costing. They can be termed as marginal costing. Your next question, the following is the best suitable costing method to determine the price of the products. Is it contract costing, marginal costing, process costing or service costing? And your right answer is marginal costing. Your next question. The projected or the actual sales over and above the break even sales can be termed as your options are net profit, gross profit, break even point or margin of safety. And your right answer has to be margin of safety. Your next question. Budgetary control method is popularly adopted based on dash costs. Historical costs, actual costs, estimated costs or inflated costs. And your right answer has to be estimated costs. A budget is always based on estimations or for the purpose of identifying what you estimate or project for the future. A budget mostly is prepared for estimating or projecting future values. Your next question, volume of sales leading to no profits, no loss can be termed as dash. Options, break even sales, break even profit, break even production or break even loss. And your answer has to be break even sales. Your next question, fixed cost upon contribution per unit gives and your options are break even loss, break even sales per unit, contribution per unit, and fixed cost per unit and your answer has to be break-even sales per unit. Your next question, sales multiplied by PV ratio gives us dash, break-even point, variable cost, fixed cost and contribution and your right answer is contribution, sales multiplied by PV ratio gives us contribution. The next question, break-even point sales plus margin of safety gives us Total sales, estimated sales, total cost or total loss. And your final answer has to be total sales. Your next question, break even point sales multiplied by PV ratio gives us total sales or variable cost or total cost or fixed cost. And your right answer has to be fixed cost. Your next question, standard price multiplied by standard quantity minus actual price multiplied by actual quantity gives us material price variance, material usage variance, material cost variance or material mix variance and your right answer has to be 
material cost variance. Your next question. Standard price multiplied by standard quantity minus standard price multiplied by actual quantity gives us material price variance, material usage variance, material cost variance or material mix variance. And your correct answer has to be material usage variance. Your next question. Among incomplete contracts, no profit is calculated when the estimated work certified is less than dash percentage of the value of contract. Your expected answers, 90%, 50%, 30% or 25% and your right answer has to be 25%. Next question, adopting the same procedures, principles and methods of cost accounting among all the units of a similar industry can be termed as inter-firm costing, intra-firm costing, uniform costing or common costing and your right answer has to be uniform costing. Combination of one or more methods of costing adopted by similar units can be termed as inter-firm costing, intra-firm costing, uniform costing or common costing and your right answer has to be uniform costing. Uniform costing helps in inter-firm comparison, ascertaining profits, ascertaining profits of all departments, levying taxes. The most suitable answer would be inter-firm comparison. Your next question. In order to estimate the costs, returns and net profits, a farmer may adopt dash costing. Your options are process costing, batch costing, farm costing, or contract costing and your answer has to be farm costing. When the cost of production are clubbed together into similar costs pertaining to each process separately, the costing system can be termed as process costing, batch costing, farm costing or contract costing and your answer has to be process costing. The next question, action taken on the basis of comparing the estimated incomes and expenses to the actual incomes and expenses can be termed as your options are cash budget, sales budget, budgetary control or purchase budget and your answer has to be budgetary control. Allocation of resources to achieve the projected volume of business can be termed as dash budget. Options are cash budget, sales budget, budgetary control or purchase budget. And your answer has to be sales budget. Your next question, examination of costing records in order to ensure the compliance and adherence of all costing principles, procedures, methods, objectives and plans can be termed as your options are cost auditor, costing, cost accounting or cost audit and your answer has to be cost audit. The next question. The acronym MIS stands for Master Information Scheme, Management Information System, Management in Schools, Margin in Safety and your answer has to be Management Information System. Your next question, a written statement expressing the opinion regarding the cost accounting system, cost records, inventory valuation etc can be termed as DASH. Cost planning, costing, cost audit report, cost accounting and your answer has to be cost audit report. Your next question. So these were a few questions for you to self evaluate. I am sure most of you would have got all your answers right. That was a quick revision. Since you all got the right answers, I would certainly say that all of you have a very bright future. Always work for a bright future, strive for it and succeed. All the best. Thank you.